All right, so now we have to answer the last question for this page, which is what does this graph reveal about M&Ms? So um, we can, oops, hold on, let me change my font color. There. Um, we can see that um, the plain bag had proportionally more blue and brown the peanut bag had more green, red, orange, and yellow. The biggest difference between the bags was probably blue as it, um, that color makes up you know, something like about 18, 17% of the plain bag, but not, but 0% of the peanut bag. It's possibly a fluke that our peanut bag just didn't have any blues in them. You know, who knows? Maybe the next, I mean, I'm assuming the next peanut bag will have some blues in them. Who knows? All right. Um, this was or this is only a graph for our two bags and we would need much larger samples, much larger bags. Go to Sam's Club and buy in bulk, right? Samples slash bags to um, make judgments. I spelled that wrong. I knew I was doing it too. Judgments about um, plain and peanut M&Ms in general, right? I mean, we only had one peanut bag and it only had 22 M&Ms in it. That's just not enough. I spelled judgments wrong again. Dang. Judgments. Okay, there we go. Um, so we just need more, right? That's not a big deal, but we would need to see more. We would need to know more in order to be able to make um, more judgments about what's going on here. Um, we can say that from these two bags, it seems like the peanut is more orange than the plain, right? For example, um, the plain is more blue than the peanut, right? But we can't guarantee it's going to be like that forever. Um, we would need a lot more samples to know if that's the case, which is kind of, by the way, where we head to in chapter 9 and 10 and 12 and so on. All right, now we've got to make a pie chart. Now everybody knows a pie chart. You've seen it. And I'm going to do this for a pie chart of the plain M&Ms. So let me go back to my Excel spreadsheet. And pie charts are a breeze to make. You just highlight the data and the columns. You can highlight the labels or not, you know, the color and the frame frequency. Do it or don't do it, whatever. Go to Insert, Pie Chart. Pick the top left one. Ta-da! You have a pie chart. Hooray! And then you can go to Layout, Insert a Chart Title. So this is a pie chart of plain M and M colors. I personally hate this, so I'm just going to get rid of that. We want to right click, so see how the whole circle's um, highlighted with little dots. Um, we want to add data labels, so do that. And then right click, you can, on those data labels, and format the data labels, right? So I added, let me, let me show you again, close. Ctrl-Z, right click, um, add data labels, click on the data labels, right click, format the data labels. All right, we want to show percentage, we don't want to show value, and we want to show the category name. So category name, percentage, and show leader lines. Close. And there you go. You've got them all. Now if you want to click, the whole circle is highlighted, click again. Oops, don't click on the label. Click click again, click on the orange green, right click, and you can mess around with the colors on this thing too. So hold on. click on the blue, click again, there, see how the lot, dots are highlighting that wedge? Right click and choose, oh, it was blue already, I'm a moron. Okay. Click, click, don't click on the labels, and life is grand. You've now made a pie chart, let me finish it out. Pause me, and there it is. Ta-da! We are all done with section 2-1, except for these questions. <laughs>